are, are you sure? <sighs> I said again. <sighs> Come on, we've been fighting for what? Ten minutes? You already lost. Why can't continue? I never gave up. I never said I, I forfeit. Are you really suggesting that until you say you lose, you don't lose? Exactly. Ugh. Do you know, this was an official match. You have already been... You know, this would have been a TKO, wouldn't it? <coughs> well, this isn't an official show match now, is it? This is a real, no holds barred street fight. Hmm. Guess you're right. But, at the very least, can I go now? I have to get ready for school. And, uh, I don't like hurting people unless I have to. Uh, I, uh, what are you? That's a good question. I guess that the Hanmas are like demons or only. I guess I'm an angel. So, if you don't mind, can I please go home? Because, be completely honest. I'm running a little short on mercy at the moment. You know, don't have another ten minutes to waste on you. If anything, I'd rather have another piece of your father. <laughs> you, you're a monster. Just like him. I'm nothing like him. I don't pray on the weak. They just decide they want to test me. Like you decide to test me. Though, yes, I almost killed my master on my last lesson. It doesn't mean I'm proud of it. Uh, but I will say this. It did it with my eyes. At least to how mm, things aren't always as they seem. I don't hate Yujiro Hanma or any of his descendants, but one thing's for certain, I do not really care for him. He said where he's from, wherever the hell that means, he was the world's strongest creature. <laughs> well, I was told that you know how I felt. I was shocked, impressed, as well as scared. <sighs> Being called the world's strongest, not man, not 
is even a human but a creature. Now that is <laughs> some title. But then I realized something. It's not really just that I was afraid or impressed, amazed, or even admired him. I want that. What? I want that title. <laughs> oh man, listen to me rambling on. I know you must be dying of blood loss. Yeah. But here I am talking about my grand plan now. What? Whether I kill your father or not doesn't matter. But one thing I really want that he helped to show me is the title of world's strongest. That's what I want. Uh, yeah. Strange, isn't it? Someone like me with a back like mine being so selfish. Well, that's life now, isn't it? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Just next time I fight him one on one, he's either going to bow to me or he's going to die. However, I'm not that strong yet. Not yet. But give enough time. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. The whole world's gonna recognize me. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, right. I should probably get you to a hospital. Oh. <sighs> huh. So they finally passed out. Oh well. You see, he can't be that heavy. Seems like they pulled out a knife on you or something. And with the bruises, the cuts are very deep, practically nicking your arteries. And you're lucky to be alive. Thank goodness that young man found it uh, imperative to bring you to us. We were actually pretty surprised when he uh, just dropped you on our gurney. Yeah. If anything, we're going to need a stronger one. Considering uh, you said you had no quirk, but you are quite the specimen. How long am I going to be here? 
Well, luckily for you, you were very resilient. In fact, it's as though you're already healing yourself. But we would like to keep you here for at least a day or two to run some tests. <sighs> and the boy who saved me. Oh, he, all he said was pretty much, um, uh, don't die. Uh, <laughs> don't die. Oh, yes, and next time, don't, uh, fight a losing battle. Even if it costs you your life. Just to win. Uh, oh, smug bastard. Reminds me so much of him. Uh. <sighs> Welcome home. You're late. Uh, yeah. I kind of, uh, things happened and, you know, uh, either way, uh, I was school. It was alright. Could have been worse, could have been better. Uh, that's good. If anything, uh, do you... Want a dinner, or are you just uh uh yes, please. Um, do you have anything you want to say about what? <sighs> okay, I want you to come clean all on your own, but apparently you're not going to do that. Your teacher, the principal, they said you caused a ruckus in class. What? You said you beat up some students. What? Yeah, and one of them was Kotsky? Suku, that is n Uh, why, why you have that look on your face? As Izuku's veins are showing, his teeth are clenched, as he's trying his best not to destroy the room. Those sons of bitches. Ah, sorry, Mom, but it looks like someone needs to be taught the lesson of manners. I, I'm sure you have a reasonable explanation, but, Mom, despite many things about me changing, do you really think I will cause trouble just for the sake of entertainment? Uh, no. Well, that's why I wanted to talk to you about it. Huh. Let's just say they fucked around and they found out. And that's all you need to know. They're talking about expelling you. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're joking, right? I wish I was, but no, they're adamant on what they want. They want you to apologize to everyone? Really? Apologize? Yes. Okay. 
So, they want me to apologize for being a bully. Yes. Ultimately, yes, that is what they're asking. Huh. Interesting. What about all the times I was bullied? Every time I got picked on for not having a quirk. When I was at one punching bag, I didn't get no apology. What? I, mm, well, I know you had a rough childhood. No, Mom, no, 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 no. You don't get it. You really don't get it. Whenever it came out that I was quirkless, that was it. That's all it took. For people to just dash my dreams. Now that I have power, now they're scared, they're threatened by it. Because a quirkless person can fight on an equal playing field with them. If not, is stronger than them and they are scared of that they are worried that okay if this one can do it what's stopping others from gaining the same kind of strength they don't <sighs> it's kind of like when quirks first awakened in people they were threatened by something they couldn't understand. And now, me, someone without quirk, someone who has power without being born with it, but obtaining it with his own hands. That's very, very concerning. If anything, I am the freak in this. I am the... the uh, I'm the outcast. I'm the anomaly that they're afraid of. They know if I get expelled Chances are my application to UA will be rejected. I just don't get it. I barely did anything, but they're still scared. Oh, they hate me even more. They saw my back. Um, Isaku, are you? No, I am not okay, Mom. I'm very, very upset. Granted, <sighs> I should have expected this. However, that does not make it right. Not by a long shot. I really don't want to do anything drastic. Let them know that I am not apologizing for something I didn't do. I didn't bully anyone. But I made my presence known which to them is pretty much an attack on everything that they know to them I'm not supposed to have power I'm not supposed to be able to be a hero they don't want their world views to be crushed well I'm gonna smash them to pieces and prove them wrong. I don't expect an apology from them, but I am not apologizing for something.
that I didn't do. I am not apologizing for existing. Uh, and Bakugo of all people. Didn't expect him to use such low down tactics. I might have to have a little talk with him and Mitsuki. Um, that might not be a good idea, considering that you are still technically... Don't worry, Mom. I'm not going to do anything drastic. I'm just going to have a little chat. Nothing's wrong with that, right? Can we do this tomorrow? Unforeseen circumstances happen. <sighs> Tomorrow. Right now, rest. You just got home. And, which, it usually doesn't take you this long, so... I'm gonna want an expression for that as well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I can honestly say I owe you that much. And that was the next day in which Izuku and Iko do go to the school and everyone is there waiting for Izuku's apology or whatever. So, Izuku, he goes up to the stage and pretty much everyone is waiting on hands and heels just to see this let lose her, just apologize for being a menace. You're right. As they are waiting on him, Izuku just starts listing off some things. Their addresses of the students and staff. At least the ones who are being uh, harassed by him. Um, Izuku, you said... Oh no, I said we're going to have a little chat. And now this is a good time, Zemi. As you have all uh, been so kind to listen to me. Yeah. I know where you live. I know where you sleep. And just so uh, you really get the grasp of what I'm saying, there's nothing you can do to protect yourselves from me. All I want, all I ever wanted, was to be a hero. And uh, I worked very hard to get as strong as I am now. But for some reason, some of you wish to test my uh, my nerves. It's not a good plan. I can honestly say that was very stupid to think it I would just be your punching bag again. That will just roll over. That will take the abuse. Well. No matter what you may think of me. No matter what you may say or do. Remember. I am the hero of this story. My story. That means I get to choose who the villains are, just like how you want to turn me into a villain in your eyes. I want to be more like an angel of mercy. Well, 
let's just say this angel is fresh out of mercy. If any of you even want to consider getting in my way of becoming a hero, whether you succeed or not, just be, be uh, prepared for the consequences and don't even try to act surprised or innocent when I come for you. That is all. And Izuku and Ingo leaves, leaving everyone speechless. Ingo, she's like, what the hell was that? We had a chat. I made my stance known. Don't fuck with me. And I'm going to fuck with you. I understand, Mom, but I put up with their crap for way too long. What's it? You? <sighs> Listen, Mom. Though, yes, I've been gone for a very long time. Doesn't mean I didn't rejoin society every now and again. Oh. <sighs> Let's just say I've seen things that someone my age shouldn't have been exposed to. I could have gone my whole life not knowing the other things I do. And one thing's for certain this world is very, very messed up. Um, okay, um, this is interesting. I, uh, I didn't expect this from my son. Yeah. But who really cares? I said my piece. We'll see if anyone wants to fuck around and find out. Find out what? Don't worry about it, Mom. If anything, let's just see if anyone decides to pull the tiger's tail. Oh. Oh, yeah. As you, what comes to the Izuku's rest of the school year before Atreus' exam and uh, training, no fuckeries afoot. All he does is train as soon as he leaves class. And though he does end up uh, with the occasional unfortunate encounter with some less than savory individuals, i.e. villains, he's quick to get rid of them. Though he does ask what uh, what brought you upon this path? Is there any chance of you being saved of your redemption? There are those who say yes, and there are those who say no. Of course, Izuku just knocks them. Not the ones who say yes, it can be redeemed, given the right uh, program. Which is not some out and takes them to the authorities. The ones who say no 
However, they never heard from him again. Or at least they have been seen again. So Izuku is pretty much cleaning up these streets. <sighs> Man, I'm bored. Um, what? Yeah, Mom, I'm... There's not really much to do. I train, I go to school, I train, I train. But there's no one to really... You want to fight, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. What the... Why? Because I feel like if I don't, I'll get rusty. You test these techniques on somebody. Anybody. I, well, not you, of course, but still. Ugh, getting the itch that needs to be scratched. Well, I, I'm sure you could find some kind of outlet. Ugh. But mom, I don't wind up killing someone unless it's necessary. Excuse me? You know, seriously, I mean, there are some circumstances in which uh, relieving someone of their soul is required. <coughs> Excuse me? Well, yes, of course. No, no, that's not how things work. They go to trial, they get convicted, you know. Just the system works. Oh, no, it does not. Not the way it should. What? Seriously, imagine some of these people have money. A lot of it. All you have to do is grease the wheels and you can get a lighter sentence. You can get a better room, better food, really everything. Heck, you might even slip a few, uh... Hmm. Interesting. Things into your cell when you need to relieve yourself. Uh, I, I don't like where this is going. Things are like this, Mom. Yes. I really agree with you from the fact that the justice system has its good sides, but it also has a whole heap of bad. Corrupt officials, politicians, officers, even heroes. Part of me thinks that not everything is as black as a and why as I thought it was growing up, there's gray, so, so much of it. Some of these villains could have easily become heroes if their situation was better. Didn't have to become bank robbers, murderers, kidnappers, all these terrible crimes they've committed could have been just because of how they were brought up, how the world, society itself has failed them. How heroes failed them. Wow, you really? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Oh, wow, I was like, yeah, I never would have thought much of it when it comes to being a hero. Save people with a smile, pretty much. <sighs> but some of these villains were t t are just too far gone. Past redemption. 
can't really be saved anymore. They didn't meet the right person in time to bring them out of the dark. So for their sakes and the sakes of others, they need to be dealt with. And not that I'm all too eager to do it, but I will do it given the uh, opportunity. What are you saying? Sometimes no one well, no one really wants to be saved. Sometimes they just want to cause chaos and wreak havoc just for the hell of it. And sometimes you have to make the tough decision. Would you rather risk the lives of many just to try to save one person? Or are you willing to do what needs to be done for the needs of the many? What has that man done to you? He gave me a fresh new perspective. All Might, the number one hero everyone loves him, yes. Saving people with a smile, he never loses. But he can only do so much. When you think about it. There's only so many hours in the day, so much time he could utilize, but he can't be everywhere. He can't save everyone. Locking up villains isn't always the right solution. Some don't deserve redemption. Some don't want it anymore. All they need is for someone to stop them and make sure they can't hurt anyone else. And I hate to say it, Mom, but that's the kind of world we live in. I... I understand. So... What? You're, you're just gonna be a vigilante? No. If I'm doing this, I'm gonna do it the right way. I want to go to UA, but before I do, I need to pay some people a visit. He's a good, I would like to ask you not to do anything so reckless again. Again? Oh, what are you talking about, Mom? I would never do something so reckless. Why don't I believe you? Either way, I'm gone, Ma. Don't wait up for me. Oh, no. I really don't want to know what he's going to do. I should have put a tracker on him when I had the chance. <sighs> Man. Damn, this Yujiro Hana, you done ruined my sweet innocent son. As Izuku, he goes to the Hero Safety Commission. And uh, them seeing how Izuku's build is, that he's, I say, a bit taller than Ida. His muscle definition, as well as the mass on him is very intimidating. Like, 
Excuse me, sir, but um, do you have an appointment? Easy to go ask for a job. Um, do you have any references? Well, no, I'm still in middle school for now. What? How old are you? No. Yep. I'm still a teenager. How? What is your quirk, boy? Don't have one. Bullshit. What? No, I call bullshit. Why would you... Look at you! This is either a mutation quirk or a transformation quirk. Uh, no. This is just raw muscle. I call cap on that. Th there's no way this is just purely muscle. Y yeah. How much can you even bench press? Uh, I, I don't know. Liar! Uh, uh, I'm telling you, I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see about that. Them calling up some heroes just in cases. Okay, might have an issue down here. We're gonna need a certain somebody. And comes a racer head. He sees he's like, uh, was this a criminal? He's like, no, he came to us for a job. Okay, and he's a teenager. Excuse me. Just looking at Izuku up and down. That? Yeah. That's a mountain. We know. Oh, oh okay. So why am I here? He says he doesn't have a quirk. Okay, I'm going home. Wait, 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 what? If he says he doesn't have a quirk, he doesn't have a quirk. Why would he lie? Just use your quirk on him and we'll perform some tests. <sighs> Fine. Fine. J just. Oh, sweet country music. <sighs> All right, there. Everyone ready? Let's perform these tests. Zugu pretty much lifting well above what should be considered normal for a normal non-quirt human being. Then looking at his hour, yes, he's staring right at Izuku with his eyes full glowing and his hair staying on ends. So. Okay, the raw power, yes, that's him. Then they do the speed test, the long jump, things that... If Izuku was a normal human being, well, let alone teenager, he would not do nearly as well. So much so, like, this has got to be a quirk. As I was, no. I have not blinked since we started these damn tests he, he's he is quirkless he doesn't have a quirk at all that's just raw power he's using breaking concrete bending metal what the hell kind of training has he done in his life Seeing the amount of scars on Izuku's body practically faded away, Aizawa wonders how did he survive some of these beasts that could have easily killed even a pro given enough time. So he's wondering 
Okay, so you're a teenager. Yes, I am. Where do you go to school? Says that's middle school. Where do you plan on going to uh, high school? Oh, your way. Really? Yep. Good, 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 good. Great. I'm pretty sure you'll fit right in. Yeah. Thank you. Don't, don't mention it. Uh, uh, I say you give him whatever job he wants. Because, though, yes, all oh, might still may be the strongest. We have no idea if he can really contend with someone seemingly so broken. Um. Uh. Uh. What do you mean, broken? By normal human standards, you shouldn't exist. But for some reason, you do. I sure as hell can't understand why. You are just... an anomaly. As I believe. When they hear such a whole safety commission thing, they just... Okay, we need to get him a job where he won't cause too much damage, let alone ruin any secrecy or the peace of the good people. So, uh, what kind of job are you looking for? Mm, in all seriousness... I've uh, been given a fresh perspective thanks to the one who trained me and I would like to help you get rid of people. Hey, really? Yes. So what you're saying is you want to be our little uh, cleaner. You could say something like that. So, anyone who's corrupt, beyond redemption, needing to be wiped from the book of life or whatnot? Yes. I will deal with them as per your instructions. Okay. Uh, this is very interesting. Not many people would actually jump at such an opportunity to, you know, do this. Y yeah, I know. But here you are, just... Uh, no offense, kid, but this is weird. I, I, I understand. So I, do I have the job or, oh no, you got the job. In fact, let's see. Uh, call Hawks. Have him come down here and did you hear that? Yes. Uh, want me to uh, check it out? Sure. Zuko vanishes right in front of them. They're wondering, wait, what the hell did he... Did he... Wait, so he was holding back? Was he even trying during these tests? Zuko comes back with a feather. But this is what made the noise. It knocked something down. Hawks. Um, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, apparently you must have been listening to our conversation. Oh, that's that's nice. No, it's not. It's rude. So, I guess he already knows about you. 
Ugh. Yep. I know about this guy. Izuku Midoriya. Quirkless. Male schooler. About to be high schooler. And a complete unit. Are you sure you'll be able to do what you... Hmm. Will be required of you. Have you noticed a slight drop in crime lately? What do you mean? Like, a bank robber went missing, but the money was found. Yeah. Purse snatcher. Never seen, but the purse was returned. Yeah. Wait, are you saying... I'm not saying anything. But at very least you know... My work. No. Yeah. You can say I've... Been a little bit of a freelancer. Until now. don't say yes the ones who are redeemable get sent to the authorities the ones who are beyond redemption well chances are there'll be empty cell waiting for a corpse You sure you're a high schooler? No, middle schooler. I'm about to be a high schooler. Whatever. Seriously, kid, you. You might need, need to rethink your whole approach here. You just admitted to murder. Did I? You know what? Whatever. Seriously, what, what were you guys thinking? Oh, oh well. Let's give him an assignment and see how he does. Then man, you know, a piece of paper. So, who's this? Her name is Himiko Toga. Yeah, she's been nicknamed a, a demon child ever since she kind of snapped during high school. Really? Yes. It seems as though uh, her parents would like her to be dealt with. Really? And, uh, precisely, how would you like this to be? Oh, we would like you to be very discreet. I'm sure you can do that, correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I can. So, you want her dead? Da -da 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 -da. We want her taken care of. You know, outside out of her mind. Her parents certainly don't care what happens to her. As long as she's not an issue. Uh, okay. Seems easy enough. I'm pretty sure I can find her. I mean, as long as I can be sure that I don't catch no flack for my methods. Sure, of 
course. Whatever you deem necessary to get the job done, it's all yours. That's all I need to hear. Now, if you don't mind, I have to get ready for my interest exam tomorrow. What? Yeah. At the very least. <sighs> I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> but you... Hey, I'm gonna catch her. Doesn't matter when. Though you want it to be done as soon as possible, I can do it. But... You can't expect me to be running on fumes. That could get me killed quickly, especially in this line of work. <laughs> oh, this guy is a real cheeky bastard. I like him. Oh, maybe the death of all of us if we're not careful. Come on, he's just one kid. Worst going to the worst, I could take care of him. <sighs> Hawks, it's not like we doubt your abilities or anything. It's just that you didn't see his results. Uh, huh. Ugh, fine. How bad could they? Holy goodness! Yeah. This guy is a beast. Yep. Man, if I'm not careful, he's how durable? Fireproof. Well, granted, the fire wasn't that hot. I mean, he, if anything, his clothes got burnt. I've seen the blushing expressions of all the females, like, oh my god. Anything else I might need to know, just in case I end up getting on this guy's bad side? Well, uh, your, your feathers may have no effect on him. What? We tried everything when it comes to cutting him. Even along the scars that were just barely visible. What? His, his scars did kind of help those guys to see what was weak, but it didn't. It didn't work. So you're saying this guy is. I can't hurt this guy not because you tell me to but because I literally can't so if he becomes a problem I can't take care of it is that what you're saying <laughs> yes there's literally nothing we can do if as a shore of bringing in stronger heroes and even then but for what we've seen, how he quickly found your feather and alerted you, it's, it, chances are he's still holding back. So we don't really know how strong he truly is. No, no, not, not yet. Oh, seriously, you guys are idiots. You have any idea what you've done?